Alfredo Moser's invention is lighting up the world. In 2002, the Brazilian mechanic had a light bulb moment and came up with a way of illuminating his house during the day without electricity, using nothing more than plastic bottles filled with water and a tiny bit of bleach. In the last two years his innovation has spread throughout the world. It is expected to be in 1 million homes by early next year. So how does it work? Simple refraction of sunlight, explains Moser as he fills an empty 2-liter plastic bottle. Add two capfuls of bleach to protect the water so it doesn't turn green, with algae. The cleaner the bottle, the better, he adds. Wrapping his face in a cloth he makes a hole in a roof tile with a drill. Then, from the bottom upwards, he pushes the bottle into the newly made hole. You fix the bottle in with polyester resin. Even when it rains, the roof never leaks, not one drop. An engineer came and measured the light. He says, it depends on how strong the sun is but it's more or less 40 to 60 watts. He says, the inspiration for the Moser lamp came to him during one of the country's frequent electricity blackouts in 2002. The only places that had energy were the factories, not people's houses. He says, talking about the city where he lives, Uberaba, in southern Brazil. Moser and his friends began to wonder how they would raise the alarm, in case of an emergency such as a small plane coming down, imagining a situation in which they had no matches. His boss at the time suggested getting a discarded plastic bottle, filling it with water and using it as a lens to focus the sun's rays on dry grass. That way one could start a fire, as a signal to rescuers. This idea stuck in Moser's head, he started playing around, filling up bottles and making circles of refracted light. Soon he had developed the lamp. While he does earn a few dollars installing them, it's obvious from his simple house and his 1974 car that his invention hasn't made him wealthy. What it has given him is a great sense of pride. There was one man who installed the lights and within a month he had saved enough to pay for the essential things for his child, who was about to be born. Can you imagine? He says. Carmelinda, Moser's wife of 35 years, says her husband has always been very good at making things around the home including some fine wooden beds and tables. But she's not the only one who admires his lamp invention. Ilac Angelo Diaz, executive director of the My Shelter Foundation in the Philippines, is another. My Shelter specializes in alternative construction, creating houses using sustainable or recycled materials such as bamboo, tire and paper. We had huge amounts of bottle donations, he says. I didn't make any design drawings, he says. It's a divine light. God gave the sun to everyone, and light is for everyone. Whoever wants it saves money. You can't get an electric shock from it, and it doesn't cost a penny. Moser has installed the bottle lamps in neighbors' houses and the local supermarket. So we filled them with mud and created walls, and filled them with water to make windows. When we were trying to add more, somebody said, Hey, somebody has also done that in Brazil. Alfredo Moser is putting them on roofs, following the Moser method. My shelter started making the lamps in June 2011. They now train people to create and install the bottles, in order to earn a small income. In the Philippines, where a quarter of the population lives below the poverty line, and electricity is unusually expensive, the idea has really taken off, with Moser lamps now fitted in 140,000 homes. The idea has also caught on in about 15 other countries, from India and Bangladesh, to Tanzania. Argentina and Fiji. Diaz says you can find Moser lamps in some remote island communities. They say, well, we just saw it from our neighbor and it looked like a good idea. People in poor areas are also able to grow food on small hydroponic farms, using the light provided by the bottle lamps, he says. Overall, Diaz estimates, 1 million people will have benefited from the lamps by the start of next year. Alfredo Moser has changed the lives of a tremendous number of people, I think forever, he says. Whether or not he gets the Nobel Prize, we want him to know that there are a great number of people who admire what he is doing. Did Moser himself imagine that his invention would have such an impact? I'd have never imagined it, no, says Moser, shaking with emotion. It gives you goosebumps to think about it.